Hey everybody, I'm Brenda, Queen Bee RV, coming to you from the National RV Training Academy, and today we're taking a look at RV maintenance made easy. And if you're like me and love a juicy checklist, this is gonna be right up your alley. There's something about crossing items off a list that is so satisfying, and it's no different when it comes to taking care of my RV. Staying on top of the daily, monthly, seasonal, and annual RV maintenance schedule gives me peace of mind that I'm not only protecting my investment, I'm also protecting my personal safety, plus my family's safety too. So this begs the question, how do we get ahead of the game or handle the effects of this regular wear and tear? That's where preventative and ongoing maintenance comes in. Stay with me while I share a few of my favorite maintenance and troubleshooting tips that I've collected over the years for the most common systems and appliances in the RV. I love talking about water heater maintenance and troubleshooting because this is one of those appliances that we use regularly and it's also one that has several items we can do ourselves. Let's look into the regular tank style water heater and some tips I have for you. The two major brands of water heater are Suburban and the Atwood Dometic. Figure out which one your RV has because they're all made of different materials and require attention unique to the brand. The Suburban brand water heaters are made of steel and use an anode rod. Keep an eye on the anode rod anytime you drain the tank and change it out when 50% or more is missing. The Atwood Dometic tanks are made of aluminum and do not require an anode rod. These have a plastic drain plug and if you ever replace it, make sure to stick with the exact same style. Do a visual inspection of the outdoor water heater compartment on each trip. There are several reasons why, starting with the fact that wasps, spiders and other insects are attracted to the smell of the additive in propane, so they tend to hang out in there and build webs and nests in the igniter and burn chamber areas. Clear those out and keep the compartment clean. Over time, during use, the inside of the water heater will eventually need cleaning due to calcium buildup. Drain and clean the tank at least once per season or more frequently if you're a full timer. A common issue RVers have with a water heater is no hot water at the faucets or water is not even entering the tank. This is typically a bypass problem. If you have a water-based system, confirm that the handles are not in winterized configuration. If you have manual bypass handles, those can usually be accessed on the back side of the tank somewhere on the interior of the RV. Those handles should be in the normal use configuration and allowing water to enter and exit the tank without also running through the bypass section. If your water heater operates on both propane and electric but is not working on all sources, start with the basics. Is there propane in your tanks and are the valves open? Is the battery fully charged so that it operates the igniter when in propane mode? Is the rig plugged into shore power and is the breaker turned on at the pedestal? That's a wrap and I hope that you got some ideas and the confidence to tackle a few of these on your own. Or if you need the help of a certified RV technician, you can find one on the Togo app or by heading to rvtaa.org and click on find a tech for someone located near you.